So hello, this is Mary with Blue Dane Vintage again with another haul from the back of my car. My sister and I went to a couple of estate sales this weekend and we just wanted to share. That's my sister right there, my sister Kathy. We just wanted to share the fun things that we found um, and hopefully you like it. I'm going to start with some of the stuff that I got, uh, which was this canister set. It's a piggy and it's in three pieces. And there's her middle and her end. Make cute planters. She's cute. They'd be cute planters or for your kitchen stuff. And there was another pig, but that's all wrapped up in a box. But that the other pig was pink, so I'm not going to show that one. And then I'm really disorganized. Let's see. Um, I got this afghan, this crocheted afghan. I love the colors. I thought that was really cool. Oops. Oh. And then another crocheted afghan with flowers. So cute. Nice stuff too. And there is also this vintage plastic Easter basket. That is vintage grass. Too. I know. And then. They had a bunch of saltine cracker tins, but most of them looked newer, but this is the only one that looked truly vintage. I think I have one. Uh, there's not a year, but there is no UPC code on it. And then I always pick up these, and this one's in really good condition. I love these. Oopsie. I probably have three or four of these by now. And I always love vintage games. This is a vintage Uno with the old, the old score cards. <laughs> and then, I know. <laughs> and this vintage bingo game. Mostly, I pick these up for the bingo cards to, for like junk journal bundles and that kind of thing. When I get around to making those. And then, no, I haven't sold those. These um, uh, salt and pepper shakers, teddy bears. Yes. And then some blazer cups. Come see our haul. These here. probably aren't worth much, but I grabbed them anyway because he was giving us a big, a really good deal on everything. And then this little thing had um, letter dice in it. They look, they look pretty old. And I always pick up um, vintage office supplies. Let's put those back there. What else? This lusterware bowl. Hey, that's cool. I didn't see you Let's get see. that. Um, Made in Germany, Luchtenberg. That was from the second sale that we okay. went to, the guy with the guy's house. Yeah. And, and, it's all, all the and this, there. let's see, this art glass, blown glass um, vase. I thought was so pretty. And a little lusterware creamer. And just the cup, there was no saucer or anything. These are made in Japan. This little boot Ooh, with the little mouse either. figurine. You have such good eyeballs. I don't know. That doesn't say. This looks like an otagiri, but it doesn't say anything on the bottom. So I'm not sure, but I thought it was super cute. Little penguin book. Oops. Oh. And this chip and dip set. I can't remember what it's called when the color kind of fades, fades into it. And I don't know company is. I don't see the marking on the bottom if it's anchor hawking or what. But that's cool. Oopsie. And then this three piece. I can't remember what this is called, this style. But there's the sugar, the cream.
creamer. Did you say grandmother or? Yeah, our, our grandmother had, oh, and there's another sugar bowl. And then it comes with its little tray. I've never seen that before. I've seen these pieces separately a lot. But I've never seen the, whoo, the platter or the tray that it goes on. And then I can never resist vintage Christmas albums. They're probably not worth much, but I love them. So we have Jean Autry. Here. Let's see what you've got. Julie Andrews. This one's in pretty bad shape, but it's uh, Kate Smith. And organ, Organs and Chimes with Jesse Crawford. <laughs> I just grabbed all the Christmas so ones. Fun. A Merry Country Christmas to all. Oops. Andy Williams. Can never pass up those guys. And I listen to these. I have a little record player. I have this one already, but but um, I could sell this one. Oh, this is oh not Christmas, God. but it's Harper Valley PTA. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> yeah, my sister went through no. them first. Christmas sing along with Mitch Miller and the gang. Oh, those are fun. And look, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. I love that cover. And another one of those. And then I have several of these, but um, we had an, a, one of these editions growing up. I think our parents got it at, at the gas station or something, the Firestone Christmas records. So I always pick these up when I, when I see them. Is this the same um, one or is it a different one? I think I have, that's a oh, different volume, one than the one we had growing six. up. Yeah. But I have a bunch of those already. Okay, I have so much stuff. Okay. At the first sale we went to, one of the things I picked up was this jar full of vintage cookie cutters. Got some really nice Everything was half there. off Look that day. I love those, the old rusty ones. I know. This book, this album was full of old, um, old prints and they were priced individually, but she gave it to me for five bucks. Awesome. Just old, I haven't looked through the whole thing yet, but there's some cool old prints in there. Oops, I didn't realize she gave you a deal, that was nice. Yeah. I grabbed this for my plant on the front porch. I've got a huge pot that I can't lift. Um, and then this milk glass cake plate with the ruffly edge. So pretty. This really neat knit purse, vintage purse, with the plastic candles. And, oh, thank you. This old clock, everything was half off that day. So I grabbed that, I'm not sure if it works, we'll see. And this art glass little pear ashtray. I thought that was pretty. See. This little cow creamer. You see a lot of reproductions like this, but this was, there's no marking, but maybe it's Delft. I don't know. It's got that pretty blue design on it. And a pair of, I got two of these. There was like a pottery shed and there was a bunch of broken pottery and beach glass and stuff that she had used to make, to make us, uh, you know, decorative tiles and stuff. And this was like sitting on the window outside the little potting shed. There was two of these. I always pick these up, these little jelly, little jelly cups. I saw those, but I didn't want to get them more. And then they had a bunch of VHS, but I'm trying to not pick them up too much anymore because I have so many, but I thought this was neat. Rita Hayworth in Gilda. And this audio book for my dad. He has this book about the history of, um, trains in the United States and he likes to go for drives so I thought I'd grab that for him, the audiobook. This cookbook, Household Discoveries 
and Mrs. Curtis's cookbook. I just love the cover on that. And we have oh, this book, English Men of Letters. And this is from, it's 1879. I thought that was pretty amazing. And I've got a bazillion dictionaries, but I can never resist them, especially if they have just the old font. Is there any pictures anywhere? Just old um, pictures in them. Good pages for junk journals. And here we have French business conversations and interviews from... What year is this? I don't know, but it's all French. Great pages for junk journals. And this is La Art de Mangiar Bene. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Italian. Oh, I think it's an Italian uh, cookbook. Crochet de Patate from 1957. And. 78 Proved Plans for Handling and Closing Real Estate Deals. This book is from the 20s, I believe. We saw that award that she had. She was like a $12 million producer or something. Oh, wow. And then another, this book is in really sad shape, but it is all in, I believe, Italian. And I don't know what year it's from. But I love the font and the old paper. 1937, somewhere's around there. And then this little doily. It's kind of, it's damaged there at the bottom, but I love the flamingo. And then this, we have a sous vide at home. I don't know if we don't hardly ever use it, but I might try these on eBay, see if anybody wants them. And I think, let's see. My pig. And that's it for mine. Hold on a second. We'll be right back. So here's Kathy with here's Kathy with her stuff. Hopefully we won't have to cut her off. Go Kathy. <laughs> Hi. Um, this is burlap, and it says it can be used for lots of different stuff. It looks kind of old, but it's in the package new so I'm hoping when I take it out it doesn't like I don't know go um, but we'll probably use it on display for our table um, and I only got one Christmas album I left the rest for my sister but I really liked um, the picture on that and then there was a, a canister set with lids that have um, hand-painted fruit on the front this is the small so one cute. and then this is one of the big ones and this one does have a lid um, and uh, there were two big ones and then two small ones so and then I don't know if they're part of the set because they're flowers instead of fruit but there was a, um, a sugar and a creamer just little with little yellow daffodils on it so there was two of these guys that are like um, flocked felt and uh, pipe cleaners then there's one who's a plastic one but I think he's old because he's also pipe cleaners so cute and then this one looks metal but um, he's actually plastic but he looks old looks like the mercury glass ones yeah Hello. and then there was a bunch I believe these are vintage um, just because of the patina that's on them some of them had hangers some of them didn't um, and I only found one that has a design on it but I love that color blue I have that all over my house so I had to get that um, let's see um, a Wat Watkins cookbook. I love getting old cookbooks like Mary does. Um, the illustrations and just the fonts and just looking at the weird things people used to eat um, <laughs> is really kind of fun. So I like that. Um, let's see. Oh, this looks kind of, you probably can't see this really well. This has um, a 
key holder in it that I would not ever oh, use, so cool. but there is a ton of old rusty keys in here, which would be great to, you know, tie on craft projects or onto a jar or something like that. So I went ahead and got all that. Um, same thing with this mis mishmash of tins. I didn't know you got that. I would have grabbed it first <laughs> if I'd seen it. I know I have to grab, <laughs> grab some things first. It's kind of funny. The guy had a ton of these Centennial beer cans and was like, had, um, you know, like these little packets all made up. He was really excited about these. Um, and some of these I don't have, I've never seen before. Um, like this all spice one on the top. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, and then this one right here, I haven't seen that one before either. So, and the prices were really good. And then I kind of got a couple of um, rusty and dusty kitchen utensils, one of those masher things. And I have an, uh, one of these that's much bigger, which is great for making applesauce. And then just some little rusty and dusty Cute. kitchen I saw those. tools. Our mom used to have ones that look just like those. those and little. I don't think Mary knows that I got this, but these are like... Oh my gosh. Um, these are mass cards. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. I love old religious pictures and everything. Wow. So these were for, in memory of Mary Elizabeth. That's my name. I know, Meckles. Born in 1906 and put to rest in 1980. Oh, wow. So, um, but they're just, they're just gorgeous. I collect ceramic um, Virgin Mary's statues of Virgin Mary, and these are just awesome. So I think beautiful. these are all for the same lady, like an assortment. So let's see. That's all Anything I have. Down here? That's all. Yeah, that's all I have. My other stuff's that in the That was so car, fun. So no Thank worries. you guys for Thank watching. You. And we'll be back with more on another day. Bye. Bye. Thank you.